Okay, Tom, it's working. Scarecrow, this is Police Chief McGonagall. You better give up. You haven't got a chance, Scarecrow. If you're smart, you'll come out with your hands tied behind your back. If you don't believe me, Scarecrow, here it is from the lips of Army General Alvin Q. Holmesby. Scarecrow, you owe it to your community, your state, and your country to give yourself up. If not, well, I cannot answer for the consequences. Hear that, Scarecrow? You've got 30 seconds. Not bad, huh? Pretty impressive characters, too. Police chief, general? Uh, yeah, can, can I try one? Okay. My fellow Americans, let me make one thing perfectly clear. Whoops! The president, like he's the commander-in-chief. I think that's a bit too much. <clears throat> Fifteen seconds, Scarecrow. Better start closing in, men. Bring the trucks around. You fellas down by the grain elevator, on your toes. We'll be moving in and in, in ten seconds. McGarity, where's that helicopter I ordered? Never mind, I see it. <laughs> Mr. Winters, like, look! Not now. No, no, I'm doing a police hel helicopter. Oh, hi there. that word? Zoinks! Thanks. Zoinks! Zoinks! Yeah! I think I see him. Where? That's not him. This way, gang. No, no, he's in there. There? My, my, if you people stop running around like chickens in a barnyard, I might be able to figure out who's who. Heavens to Betsy, I think I saw him. Concern it? Why didn't I wear my Sunday spectacles? Whoever it is has just sneaked into the grain elevator. Let's go. Wait for me. All clear. You can come out, Scoob. <laughs> stuck, huh? I'll give you a hand. <laughs> yeah, like it was a little cramped in there, wasn't it? Oh, we gotta find a better hiding place. 